American harness racing as we know it began in 1806 and in the past 200 plus years there have been a lot of changes. One of the most obvious transformations in the sport, the evolution of sulkies. Evidence exists that men were racing horses to harness thousands of years ago, but it wasn't standard bread racing as we know it today. Trotters were originally raced under saddle, a carryover from the earlier period when the assumption was no gentleman ever drives a trotter. Horsemen progressed from saddle to sulky and wagon, however the four-wheeled wagon events were short-lived, but the use of these skeleton wagons on the roads continued for gentlemen drivers, who enjoyed showing off their trotters on city speedways. And by the 1870s on the Grand Circuit, harness racing was back to almost exclusive use of the high-wheeled sulky, which had wheels approximately 5 feet in diameter. But it was in 1892 when the low-wheel bike was introduced to the sport. It had a 30-inch diameter wheel, and when the seconds began to drop with the use of these bikes, any objections to the low wheels dropped just as quickly. In fact, in 1897, harness racing broke a 2-minute mile for the first time. The Sulky introduced in 1892 would have few changes in its basic design for decades, although over the years it did become more aerodynamic, with the seat being lowered in behind the horse. Adios Harry used this Sulky in the 1950s. It was called a Houghton, and it was the most popular bike of its time. This basic style with the shafts coming back to the seat and up the other side in a semicircle lived a very long life. However, a sulky that lived a very short life in the mid-70s was the single shaft. There's testimony that this bizarre-looking bike improved slow horses, but it became the Edsel of harness racing. It was regarded as unsafe, wheels were easily hooked in a race, and horses could turn around in the sulky. But then, in the late 1970s, the modified sulky was developed and marketed. It's not in a semicircle, but in a box shape where the shafts meet the seat. This development was responsible for many changes and improvements, including the modified and quick hitch harness, which have improved race time of horses all over the country. And you can believe that the evolution of the bike hasn't stopped here. There are always new ideas being marketed to give drivers that extra edge on the racetrack. But most horsemen will tell you that it's what you put between the shafts that's the most important ingredient in getting to the winner's circle. 